Hi, this is Terry Gray, and today I'm going to start a video series on how to use Windows Live Movie Maker. Our first lesson is going to be how to download and install Windows Live Movie Maker. You'll need a live.com account, a Windows Live account. If you don't have one, go to live.com, click the sign up button, and create your account. If you do have one, go ahead and sign in. I'm going to sign in right now. Okay, and when you sign into Windows Live, you can find the download link on the Windows Live menu. Hover over it with your mouse, click Downloads, and you'll come to the Windows Live Essentials home page. Now you'll see a big blue Download Now button, uh, and if you scroll down this page a little, if you need to, uh, you'll also see that there are links to the various uh, individual programs, Messenger, Photo Gallery, and so forth. If you click that link to go to the Movie Maker page, uh, it'll take you to the Movie Maker page, but there's that blue download button again, and it will behave exactly the same on this page as it did on the opening page. You will not be given a choice to install uh, Windows Movie Maker individually from among the various Live Essential tools at this point. That comes later in the install process. It's useful to come to this page, however, because uh, Microsoft has provided some uh, screen videos on how to add videos and photos, how to easily edit them and share them online. Now I'm going to be going into these topics in more detail later, but if you want to take a look at what uh, Microsoft has uh, for you in, in the way of online training for Movie Maker, uh, go ahead and come to this page. That's how you access it. Also, before you download, I would recommend taking a look at the system requirements for Movie Maker. I'm clicking that now. Uh, I, I have um, listed these in my blog post, which goes along, or the PDF document, which goes along with this video. So you might be able to read them more easily there. Uh, this will tell you that you need Windows 7, though, or Vista with Service Pack 2, to install Windows Live Essentials 2011 Movie Maker. There was a previous version that worked with Windows XP. It was uh, Windows Live, or Windows Movie Maker version 2. So I'm going to uh, go ahead back to our download page and now show you what happens when you click the download link. Okay, our only choice is to save the file or cancel. I'm going to save the file. And what happens on your system may be a little different than what happens on my system. I have a separate download manager that you can't really see on the screen right now. But I'm going to launch that download manager. Answer yes to Windows 7 that I actually want this installation to occur. And now the installation uh, is starting to take place. And now we see our choice of choosing to install the entire Windows Live Essentials package. I do not recommend that. Or to choose the programs you want to install. I do recommend that. Go ahead and click that link. And um, what you can see from this uh, dialog box is that I already have the Outlook Connector Pack installed. And in fact, I had a number of these other programs installed, but I uninstalled them just so you can see what this is going to look like. In your case, uh, the Outlook Connector Pack will also have a checkbox next to it if you haven't installed any of the Live Essential programs. And I'm going to go through here and deselect each of the programs I do not want. I only want one of them, the Windows Photo Gallery and Movie Maker. And note that you can't separate out the two. You have to download the two as a package, and there is a good reason for doing that. We'll get to that later. Uh, I like Photo Gallery a lot. I like Win Movie Maker a lot, too, and they work well together. So go ahead and, uh, once you have uh, selected the programs you want to install, click the Install button. And now we have a, we have a significant time to wait. Okay, there we go done and it is installed and ready to use. I guess uh, one thing I might recommend is pinning it to the start menu. Uh, we have other videos on how to do that along with the photo gallery too. In our next uh, lesson we're going to get down to work and actually go through the workflow of importing a video into Movie Maker and exporting it as a project. Thanks for listening.